series, our first uh, episode, uh, we're doing that five minute workout of the day. Uh, before we proceed for this workout, um, I'm going to go through a warm up first, just a general warm up. Uh, so I'm going to go through that. But anyways, my first thing is that the whole purpose of this is, you know, we all don't have a lot of time, so I figure, hey, why not put something together for people to do at home, you know, or at the outside or in the gym even, just for five minutes. Maybe you can make it part of your own normal routine to kind of challenge yourself, add something different, or at least do something if you don't end up working out at all, you know. So, anyway, that's, that's what my goal is. The whole idea is it's a pretty, fairly intense uh, level of, of endurance and strength in a five minute period of work. Uh, it's pretty much five minutes non stop. So, with that said, you gotta make sure you warm up. So, some, some general warm up drills that you'll do is like some stretching, some high knees, bringing your knees to your chest, um, you do some other things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a little quick run for about maybe two or three minutes. Uh, a good warm-up should be about five, ten minutes. Um, right back. So where should I run? This is the workout. It's going to be five minutes long. There's a series of exercises. First, you do 30 seconds of push-ups. You can also do as many as you can. After your 30 seconds of push-ups, do 30 seconds of squats. Ideally, full deep squats. So. Just a brief review of the form. You want to position yourself so that your feet are parallel or straight, ideally. Your shoulders are back and down. And you're going to squat as low as you can, keeping your body as upright as you can. The key thing is making sure you push your hips all the way back and you sit into the squat. Okay? Uh, if you have tight hips, like me, you'll have a tendency to excessively forward lean, which is not a big deal. But you want to make sure that when you come up, you're digging, driving through your heels and squeezing your tush. Second, we have push-ups. Now, if you can't do full body push-ups for 30 seconds, do them on your knees. The key thing that's important, uh, if you can see me from here at this angle here, you want to make sure your shoulders are directly over your wrists or in that direction. So if you're either here or here is fine. The key thing is that you have a lot of tension. Wrists are, are shoulders over wrists. Down, inhale, exhale, and push. Inhale, exhale, and push. Okay, key thing is that your elbow, your chest passes your elbows. Bam. Bam, keeping your back straight, squeezing your glutes. So that's one minute of work. We have four minutes of work left to go. So then we're going to gradually pick it up. Then we're going to do one minute of squats, one minute of push-ups. So that's three minutes of work. All right? After three minutes of work, we do one minute of half burpees. This is more for endurance. Uh, there's, a, there's a modifier for it, so half burpees like this, coming down, coming up. No push up, just kind of flexing the knees, flexing the thighs. If that's hard on your feet or hard on your knees, you can just kind of go down, walk your feet back, march back. Okay, that's one minute. That's four minutes of work. And what do we do for the last minute? Let's do something kind of fun. Or something kind of different. We'll do jump squats jump hop. Okay? So this is pretty, this can be really killer, it depends on how you push yourself. So you get to see me do it. Okay, so. Go! time. time. time.
time. Time. Three, two, one, go. So hips come back, power through the hips, triple extension, knee, hips, and ankles. Come down, power through, lock out the hips, squeeze the glutes tight, land soft. Inhale, exhale, push up. Inhale, push the hips back, come up. Squat back. Really pick up the pace. You can go faster, smaller hops. You can do power hops, power squats. The key thing is landing and getting a hip flexion. Brief review of the push ups. Again, when you're doing push ups, Ideally, you want your shoulders as lined up to your wrists or arms as possible. That way you get the maximum load on your chest, shoulders, and triceps. That way you position yourself. So that way, when you're here, your shoulders are right there. If you're here, you push most of the weight into your lower body. Put the weight into your, sh to your upper. Inhale, exhale, push. And even if you go on your knees, this is pretty difficult to do. It can be very challenging, depending on your fitness level. Key thing is you don't want your back to arch like that. You want your back to kind of flatten out. And you're going to position yourself to your shoulders are directly over your wrist. Your chin is back. Inhale, exhale, and push. And then with the squats, you get as low as you can, pushing your hips back. You need to try to get the thigh as parallel to the ground as possible. Because that way you get that full hip extension here in the glutes coming back. Powering through. And then, of course, the burpees. When you come down, you want to get this nice flexion in the knees working these quads. I will mention that if you do have a knee issue, you definitely can feel this a lot here, so just be aware of it and pace yourself appropriately. Then you go into kind of a push up position, and then you kick your legs back in a powerful motion. And then come back up. Alright? So come check back tomorrow for the next... Signing off.